Have you ever been to a social gathering where it's vital that you interact with complete strangers? It can be a pretty harrowing experience. Where do you begin? What you need is a, an icebreaker, something that bridges the barriers and makes everybody feel at ease and comfortable. So desperately, you look around, fumbling for an opening, and lo and behold, just when things look bleakest, something or someone steps up to save the day. My favorite aunt once told me that life is what happens to you while you're busy making plans. Well, nobody plans more carefully than the Martin family. And all of our plans were about to be put to the test by an unexpected visit. I'm Catherine Walker from the Children's Welfare Agency. Hi, I'm David Martin. This is my wife, Marcia. Um, I'm sorry, I, I was planting. Well, I hope this wasn't an inconvenient time for you. No, I, I mean, yes. I mean, <laughs> we were told to expect you uh, unexpectedly, that the, is. The agency said that you would come. So you know I need to take a look around. Yeah, uh, you know, the house is completely baby-proof. Come on in, we'll show you. Um, we have, uh, well, are those little plugs uh, inside yeah. the socket? Thank you so much. Sure, we'll walk you out. You have a very lovely home. All it needs is a baby. We have uh, toys, the clothes, um, everything you could possibly need to get started. We have it. I mean, we could be ready tomorrow. We're doing everything we can. Goodbye. It's nice to meet you, Catherine. Pleasure. You know, I know how much you want a baby. Yes. But there is this emergency situation. An emergency? This is Caleb. Caleb? He's six, and he needs a foster home right away. Well, he's adorable, but we were counting on an infant. I know. It would only be until we found a permanent home. What do you think, honey? How do you feel? I feel we could help them. Yeah, I think we could. <laughs> we'll be more than happy to take Caleb in. <laughs> this is Corby. <laughs> Corby, down. Oh, uh, you have a dog. Corby loves kids. <laughs> Sometimes dogs can feel displaced and get temperamental. Is Corby excitable? Well, he's a bit rambunctious, I guess. Well, a new child can be an adjustment for a pet. We understand that, but Corby, he'll be just fine. I hope so. Well, goodbye. Come on, Corby. Are we doing the right thing? We didn't have time to buy anything new. I'm sure Caleb's outgrown everything we already have. The only thing for him to play with is old Corby. What if he's afraid of Corby? The social worker did seem concerned. What are you saying? What if we have to choose? David, we couldn't. I mean, we couldn't get rid of Corby. I mean, he's the reason we first met. Remember? He practically wrapped his leash around your legs. I know. He's the one that made us a couple. There's a dog here? Wow! Corby! Hey! Corby! Can this be my dog? I always wanted a dog, but I can never have one. I was wrong. Looks like Corby is not going to be a problem. Can I stay here? Can I please stay here? Yes, but remember, it's only temporary. <laughs> I think Corby's done it again. Yeah, I think he has. 
<laughs> Go on, Caleb. You can play with him all you want. Corby adopted Caleb on the spot. We followed suit shortly after. 